scene. I've got more to show you. Just wait. Okay, a little teaser for the fans. I'm obsessed. But I love that everyone's picking up on the, the references that we're imbuing in all these looks. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Margot Robbie Barbie press looks. I'm wearing a lot of pink this summer, and I'm loving it. For this list, we're looking at the actress's next-level Barbie core fashion moments as she makes her way around the world promoting the highly anticipated film. Which amazing Barbie Margot look is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, the original. We would go to the beach. Is that a trick question? One of Margot Robbie's first Barbie press tour looks was inspired by none other than original Barbie from 1959. Barbie dress for swim and fun is only $3. At Sydney's Bondi Beach, the actress wore a black and white striped dress by Hervé Leger, nearly identical to the OG swimsuit. Robbie's stylist Andrew Muckamal paid tribute to the iconic doll's complete look with white shades from Jacques-Marie Mage, Spinelli Kilcullen golden hoop earrings, and a cherry red manicure. Her perfect pony for its part was the icing on top of the Barbie cake. The black open-toe Manolo Blahnik heels cemented the vintage pinup look, a brand that would become a must-have for the rest of the tour. Number 9, Pink and Fabulous in L.A. I think Barbie's been capturing people's attention since the day she was invented, and she is an icon, but she's a very complicated one. On June 25th, Muckamal went for a more contemporary Barbie muse for a press junket and photo call in Los Angeles, styling Robbie in a flirty frock similar to Pink and Fabulous Barbie from 2015. Robbie radiated Barbie energy in a custom Valentino pink and white polka dot mini dress featuring a crisscross halter top and midriff cutout. Of course, a pair of white Manolo Blahnik BB pointed toe pumps tied it all together. But that's not all. The yellow shoulder bag and SIL pearl bracelet really pop against the pink and white, which is fitting since the Barbie star stood out at the event. Number 8. Sparkling Pink in Seoul Margot Robbie brought the shine to a Seoul press conference in July, wearing an embellished custom skirt suit from Moschino, channeling a brighter, pinker version of 1964's Sparkling Pink Barbie. Muckamal's version also showed off more skin with a crop top and a shorter skirt. This glitz and glam getup would look amazing in any setting, but it positively glowed under the lights and among the flashing cameras. With her pillbox hat, adorable heart-shaped purse, and staple Manolo Blahnik heels, Robbie effortlessly slayed yet another impossibly pink carpet. Color us incredibly impressed. Number 7. Totally Hot, Totally Cool in Mexico Totally hot, totally cool, totally hair Barbie Margot Robbie wowed once again at the July 7th Mexico City photo call in a colorful Emilio Pucci printed mini dress modeled after Totally Hair Barbie, one of the best-selling dolls in the brand's history. And fun fact, Barbie fashion designer Carol Spencer was actually influenced by the Pucci brand when creating the 1992 doll. You've got something special. When it came to hair, hairstylist Bryce Scarlett crimped the actress's blonde locks to match the doll's wonderfully long wavy tresses. And the enthusiasm and the excitement, and the fact that everyone was just, it just felt like such an explosion of joy um, that I thought, oh my gosh, if I could just take this snapshot and hold on to it forever, um, I would never be sad again. However, the length was wisely kept reasonable instead of having Robbie's hair down to her pink Manolo Blahnik pumps. And did you notice her ring pop ring? We can't get enough of it. Number 6. Perfect Day Prada This is the best day ever. It is the best day ever. So is yesterday and so is tomorrow and every day from now until forever. Yeah! Ahead of the Barbie movie's summer release, stars Margot Robbie and Ryan Gosling turned out at CinemaCon 2023 in Las Vegas, the first stop on their global press tour. The two dressed to impress, with Robbie wearing a matching pink and white Prada set complete with pink Louboutin heels and subtle jewels. The ensemble feels like a riff on a gingham look Barbie dons in the movie, minus the matching hat and seashell necklace. The outfit is also reminiscent of the character's perfect day outfit, which many have pointed out looks like a pink version of Dorothy's blue dress in The Wizard of Oz. Barbie each day her outfit is already magically here in her wardrobe, she opens the doors. All she needs to do is look at it, gives a spin, and then it's on her body. We're thinking Barbie and Dorothy go on a similarly wild adventure exploring uncharted waters, so it's a fitting homage. To the real world. 
You can go back to your regular life, or you can know the truth about the universe. The choice is now yours. The first one, the high heel. You have to want to know, okay? Do it again. Number five, 90s archival revival. Welcome home. Look at this reception. Do you ever get used to this? No, never, never. Every time it's so surreal. On June 30th, 2023, Margot Robbie was in her homeland of Australia for multiple Barbie fan events. For an outdoor event, she rocked a pink Versace turtleneck and metallic skirt combo once donned by Kate Moss in the 90s. She rounded out the preppy look with socks and white-heeled loafers. Then, for that night's celebration at the Museum of Contemporary Art, Robbie continued the 90s archival vibe with a metallic Atelier Versace mini dress previously sported by Claudia Schiffer. The shimmering, blush-toned party dress featured a corset-style bodice atop a stunning skirt, complemented by clear heels and eye-catching chrome nails. Number 4. Earring Magic in Mexico Earring Magic Barbie, gonna be styling for a date. Earring Magic can make you look great. Earring Magic Barbie. At Mexico's Barbie premiere, Margot Robbie channeled another one of the most iconic Barbies from the 90s by wearing a Balma custom leather mini dress. Inspired by 1992's Earring Magic Barbie, the hot pink strapless number featured a fitted bodice with long sheer mesh sleeves. Of course, she accessorized with the dangling silver earrings we know and love, along with a matching chain belt that was reminiscent of the doll's very own. Mixing, matching, looking hot. Robbie also rocked a fabulously crimped hairdo courtesy of Bryce Scarlett. And the whole thing comes together to take us back to the 90s in the absolute best way. Number 3. An Enchanted Evening in London For the July 12th European premiere of Barbie, the titular star was once again the image of elegance. Margot Robbie stepped out in a custom Vivian Westwood pale pink satin strapless gown with a rose at the hip, draping train, and white opera gloves. The beautifully regal look was inspired by 1960s Enchanted Evening Barbie. The easy updo showed off her layered Asael pearl choker and matching earrings, which we're able to see even better sans her white fur. The dress stops at her ankles, revealing clear Christian Louboutin heels with crystals for added sparkle to celebrate the magical night. Number 2. Day to Night Versace Margot Robbie touched down in South Korea on July 1st and gave us instant heart eyes with her sweet Moschino ensemble. Little did we know she had something even bigger in store for the next night's pink carpeted premiere. I don't have anything big planned, just a giant blowout party with all the Barbies and plant choreography and a bespoke song. You should stop by. She outdid herself in a Versace pink and white power suit skirt set, like 1985's Day to Night Barbie. She arrived in full-on Barbie camp proudly donning the hat and bedazzled 80s phone. Of course, anyone familiar with the doll hoped for a second outfit to be revealed. Robbie definitely delivered, trading in her professional day look for a ready-to-party night one in a layered tulle skirt and a sequined bodice. We girls can do anything, right Barbie? Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Yellow Chanel Showstopper. This skirt suit had us living. <laughs> Vintage Chanel in Transit, channeling Travel Barbie in another Claudia Schiffer callback. Strawberry Moschino Ensemble, Robbie kept it retro at Bondi Beach. Bubblegum Pink Two-Piece, Barbie's dream car is the ultimate accessory for this Bottega Veneta ensemble. I do remember the first time I was fully kitted out as Barbie, and I did have that kind of giddy moment of like, oh, I look so pretty, wow! Blue sequin suit. Robbie donned a twinkling tweed jacket and skirt and proceeded to read the news like a pro. Two more news now, and could Barbie mania be leading to a Barbie baby name boom? One expert from the US says we could be at the start of a Barbara comeback. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. 
Number one, solo in the spotlight at the LA premiere. Every new city we go to, I get to do a whole new Barbie reference and then it's my new favorite. So right now this is my favorite. As we've seen, it doesn't have to be pink to be Barbie core. Margot Robbie further demonstrated this at the movie's world premiere in Los Angeles on July 9th. The star went old Hollywood glam, gracing the pink carpet in a Scaparelli haute couture black sequined embroidered gown designed by Daniel Roseberry. The fashion house's creative director and company modeled the gorgeous dress after Solo in the Spotlight Barbie from 1960, even replicating an intricate detail like the blush handkerchief. Roseberry also adorned the dramatic mermaid tulle skirt with a hand-painted rosette. The vintage look was topped off with a pony fit for the 60s, gorgeous gloves, and stunning Lorraine Schwartz diamonds. If celebrity stylists are eligible for awards, Andrew Muckamel deserves all of them. I mean, tonight we're doing Solo in the Spotlight Barbie, and uh, I think it was like the first evening gown sort of Barbie, so it felt appropriate for tonight. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.